hi guys it's your girl Rohan. welcome back if you're a new subscriber welcome welcome to the family if you're an old subscriber and you are here to watch this video welcome back and thank you for coming back i love you all so you guys i've done like a couple of videos i've done like three videos and i've not done the get to know me tag like you guys don't know me too well so i'll be doing the get to know me tag I'm so happy to be here honestly like hi you guys really like how are you are you guys okay are you guys fine so you guys if you have not subscribed please don't forget to subscribe like click the subscribe button please and don't forget to like the video give it a big thumbs up and also comment comment on how you are doing i really want to know how you are doing honestly so let's get right into the video i'm going to be using my phone to answer like most of the questions so i don't fall out of because i can talk too much to grab so i don't like i'll fall out of <laughs> of this thing but first i'm going to take some glass of juice because i'm bougie <laughs> i'm just excited so yeah let's get right into the video <clears throat> so first of all my name is afalabi Rohan, as in Rohan. Rayhan, but some people can't pronounce it well, so you can call me Roy, you can call me anything. My full name is Afalabi Rayhan Udua Kemi. Other names are for good to know. So, I'm a Muslim, I'm sure it's so obvious already. And I'm a student of the University of Lorraine 200 level chemistry. Yeah, better by far university. I'm an entrepreneur, I do business, like I run an online business where i sell some shades i sell plenties long hand and short hand own i sell i sell hoodies i sell almost everything sellable anything anything is available just ask just name it and it's available <laughs> so you guys go and follow my business page on um on instagram shop Roy. i'm going to be putting the handle on the screen and you guys i'm also on twitter at those of right hand and i'm on snapchat as arafalabi234 i'll be putting all the handles i'm saying i'm putting them on the screen for you guys so we can have chats off youtube we can talk off youtube don't worry i'm very welcoming person so you don't have any problem just add me up anywhere you want to add me up i'm on instagram too as right hand everywhere um everywhere so i'll be using my phone share because so that you people understand so my favorite color my favorite color is pink. I know it's very weird, but my favorite color is color pink. But I think I'm beginning to fall in love with purple. I don't know, that color just have my heart. I don't know. <laughs> I love that color very well. My favorite food is amala and iwedu. I love amala and iwedu a lot. And I also like spaghetti. When I cook that spaghetti myself, it eats very different. And um, favorite thing to do. Ha, oh mom. <laughs> There's something I cannot do. I'm somebody that like I just do things based on my mood. I I don't know. I don't know if you can understand that kind of understand. I just do things based on my mood. So you guys, I'm going to be I'll start answering questions based on the questions people asked me on my phone like this. <clears throat> okay, so relationship status. <clears throat> I'm single. I'm not ready to mingle. <laughs> I'm not ready to mingle. Then my height. Um, I think I'm five nine or five eight. I'm tall. Hey, I'm quite tall. Very very tall. He don't mess with me. How many siblings do you have? I have three siblings. Three male siblings. Younger ones. I'm the first one of my family. Have you ever gone out without your hijab? Nah. I've never gone out and I don't think I'll go out without my hijab. I love my hijab very much because I look so beautiful in it. Like everyone looks beautiful in their hijab. So yeah, so I've never gone out before and I'm not going to go out without it. Inshallah. Where, where do you get your dressing inspirations from? I get my dressing inspirations from different fashion bloggers on Instagram. And I also like like to put a lot of styles on my head like by myself i just sit down you know do the magic and then i have nice nice fashion designers ah my tailor is a badass thing though so when i just say okay oh this is it she just help me put it together and then i just go with my hijab 
carry my bag and look gorgeous gorgeous like normal <laughs> so what's your dream job oh more hey hey dream job ha hmm you guys i don't know i'm going to talk too much but i should start talking about my dream but growing up i had so much things i wanted to become like ha i wanted to become a nurse at some point i'm just become a doctor i just got a cardiologist but see me yeah i'm doing chemistry so now i just want to be successful like i don't even have like no dream just want to be successful healthy live good life that's all i don't even have strength for dream job hey yeah, dream job okay hmm. your personality ha i'm a very calm person i'm very cool honestly i am someone that if i'm very quiet my friend would be like ha rihanna are you sure you're okay anybody i'm around like if we are close and i'm around you and i'm not talking they'll be like aha Ryan, are you sure you are fine ha. They'll be like i'm fine though but <laughs> but like i'm very i'm not loud i won't call you loud i'm just someone that you get i don't like to be quiet i like to talk i like to vibe with people i like to make new friends i'm a very cool person honestly like we can be friends seriously what's your favorite place to go home I just think before answering that question. I like to go to my father's house. Home, please. Take me anywhere. Take just take me home. What the man? Take me home. I want to go home. If I'm at home, that's my favorite place to be. Where do you want to have your dream holiday? Oh, Santorini. <laughs> that place is so fine. <laughs> yeah, Santorini. I like that place. It is so cool. Who keeps you motivated? My mom. Oh my god. May God bless that woman for me, honestly. I'm sure you guys have watched that video where I pranked that. You should go and watch it if you have not watched it. If you have watched that video, you're going to fall in love with that woman. She keeps me motivated, honestly. Like, I don't know. She just keeps me going. Yeah, and my dad too. Yeah, she keeps me going. Ah, God. <laughs> How often do you plan to drop videos? Um, like right now, like now, like this. I want to drop like Wednesdays. And to drop to, um Saturday, Wednesday on Saturday. So yeah, for now, shall Wednesday on Saturday. I can't see of later, but for now, Wednesday on Saturday. Then something you would never do, even if there was a million dollar involved. Ah, I won't change my religion. I'll always be a Muslim, even if there was billion dollars involved. I don't care. I'll always be a Muslim. Where did you grow up? <clears throat> I grew up in Lagos. Lagos. I grew up in... I live at... Where did I even live? I'm not going to disclose it in case anybody wants to kidnap me. I'm not going to disclose where I live. So somebody asked that, how did I grow my Instagram? And what's my other experience on being an entrepreneur? So like, Instagram is an app that I've been on for like a very long time. Like throughout like 2019 was it 2020 that corona period i was always on instagram because like i was not in any other social media app anybody that knew me personally will know the course so like i was just being active normal thing that they'll tell you being consistent post a lot of pictures have friends tag people tag below um, all this you got you got these big pages to post you that's like basically what i did and i'm still growing it's not like i've grown <laughs> i'm still growing it you guys follow me on instagram i'm going to be putting my handle my page i'll put anyone i'll put in here for you guys to follow and then my other experience of being an entrepreneur ha logistic company that one just happened to me recently you guys somebody paid for delivery i paid already for delivery i waited for the this this, comp this logistic company to come they did not come hmm. I waited. They did not come. I had to pay another logistic company. Till now, I don't know why they didn't come. They didn't reach out to me. They didn't do anything. I, I, I was so sad because I, I knew that like the customer I was going to like be so disappointed. I was trying to explain to them, like to keep up with them, but it just still does not feel like you grab now. And then there are some customers that will run you mad, you guys. They will order for something. If you bring that in, they'll tell you that it is too small, it is too big, you should change it for them. It's tight, it's this, it's that, it is. Ah! Hmm. You people, entrepreneurship is not for the weak. You have to be strong like me. Why is it being an entrepreneur? Ah, honestly, ah, I've enjoyed doing this video, but ah, I have to go. But I look so fine. So, 
if you have watched up to this estate thank you so much a real g don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment down below what you would like to see on my channel subscribe if you are not yet subscribed for more content more. don't you want to be seeing my fine face on this screen uh 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 you fuck off now yeah just subscribe subscribe I'll, I'll forgive you if you have not subscribed to this extent just subscribe yeah? and thank you for watching i love you and i'll see you on my next video bye